Look out! Here comes another load! Oh, hello. I'm George. George the Foreman. Welcome to our compost bin. This is very lucky indeed, because you've arrived just in time for another delivery. <laughs> and now I can show you just how compost is made, with the help of some of my family and friends. Right then, let's start by taking a look at some of the everyday stuff that we can turn into compost. Everyday stuff that you're kind enough to bring to our bin. Great! There's a good mix of greens and browns in here. Like any recipe, good compost needs a mix of the right ingredients. The apple cores, vegetable peelings and tea bags, for instance, are called greens. They're quick to rot down and add moisture to the bin. Things like egg boxes, cardboard and fallen leaves are called browns, and these provide fibre and make useful air pockets in the mixture. As you can see, before this lot even had time to settle, Ferdy the fruit fly and all his mates are all over the place helping to start the process by breaking down the greens. Oh. <laughs> Morning, Brian. See, over there, they're brandling worms, eating their way through the rotting debris. Unlike normal earthworms, which like soil, Brian and his friends prefer this lovely, rich environment and can eat up to half their own body weight in a day. Their tunnelling also provides little airways for oxygen to get through so that we can all breathe down here. Oh, look, there's Pippa Ant and her colony tucking in as well. <laughs> Tuck in, young Pip. <laughs> Hopefully there's plenty more where that came from. <laughs> Phew. Things are certainly starting to warm up around here. Now, at this level, in the first few days, tiny microbes such as Beryl and Bertie bacteria here, who are so small that you can fit a billion of them on a teaspoon, also help break down the waste, making it easier for my friends to eat and slowly turn it into compost. Let's go down to the next level and see how our compost is developing. Hello, young Woody. Good lad, keep up the good work. It's a pleasure, George. It's hedge clippings today, my favourite. It's even warmer down here. At over 40 degrees centigrade, it's the warmest place in the compost bin, thanks to some more microbes like Beryl and Bursey, called actinomycetes, which help break down the tough and woody bits. Boys, hey, George. At this speed, we can't slow down. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's Steve Snail and his best friend Sally Slug rushing off uh, to make a start on the new delivery of plant material that's just come down from the top floor. They might not be fast, but they do a very thorough job of helping to get rid of the tough woody stuff that hasn't broken down yet. And here comes Sylvia Springtail, cleaning up after everyone. Hello, Sylvia. Hello, dearie. Can't let this go to waste. It'll make a nice dessert for later. Shh! Don't let them centipedes know we're here, or else we'll end up as their lunch. Here is where Fiona Fungi gets to work breaking down the toughest stuff. This process can take months. Ah, that's Elvis Earthworm. Earthworms prefer to live in and tunnel through soil and are great at working the finished compost into the soil when you humans spread it onto your flower beds and vegetable patches. 
<laughs> Looks like Elvis here is checking out the quality of this compost and making sure it's got all the right nutrients. Looks like someone wants some now. <laughs> I better get back to work. Hey, hey, see you next time you compost. <laughs> Bye for now.